Hi, how's everybody doing today? Uh, this is long overdue. Actually, I was going to make an 11 month video uh, update about my beard, but it just kept growing and uh, yeah, I ran out of time. So I have made the year stuck to it this time. Uh, so this is a full 12 months, really 12 months and a few days here. But uh, you know, there's been a lot of uh, a lot of changes along the way. Uh, I have, uh, you know, a few few milestones at at about five months when you can start feeling the wind blow your beard. Uh, you know, that's a cool kind of feeling. You know, wow, you really got really got a beard going there. Uh, now, my latest milestone or observation, I'd say, you know, uh, is that. I can't put my t-shirts on right because I put them on and it holds the bottom of my beard still in the shirt so I gotta go like I gotta go up like this and pull my shirt down to get my beard out uh, so that's kind of funny but uh, there it is uh, it is still getting thinner uh, I've noticed uh, I get a lot of long hairs pulling out uh, I measured one yesterday it looked like a pretty long one it was six inches exactly so, you know, my hair growth seems to be about a half inch a month. Uh, so, but the long ones are falling out and they always have the uh, follicle on the end, you know, the little, like the root to the hair. Uh, they never break, you know, I don't have any broken hairs that fall off, uh, just the full, the full hair pulls out. Uh, I have noticed one thing to reduce the amount of hair pulling out don't use a comb. Uh, I stopped using combs because you know you'll go through the beard even if you have some beard oil on there so it, it comes through you know slicker if there's a tangle down here it'll grab it and just pull the hairs out and you've just wasted you know <laughs> a year's worth of growth on those hairs uh, so what I use is a, a more open style brush like this you can see it's full of beard hair <laughs> but uh, you know they're like little they're like little treasures, aren't they? Um, <laughs> but uh, an open brush, that's what I like. Uh, with the, the, if you oil it before you brush, it's, it comes through sleeker, you know, smoothly, and it doesn't snag nearly as much. But I still probably lose, I wanna say 40 hairs a day. It's quite a bit. Uh, you know, there's beard hair in my shower, beard hair in my, sh my sink. It's all over the brush, and then like I could be sitting there, you know, typing at the computer, and then I'll feel when fall and hit my arm. They're actually heavy enough to feel <laughs> feel when it hits your arm. Like you couldn't, you know, your hair, head hair isn't that isn't that heavy, but uh, the beard hair is kind of dense. So, but there it is. I'm starting to get less in the middle. You know, the uh, the mustache line that comes down here is the strongest growing area. Uh, it's kind of strange, but. You grow, I grow more hair here straight down, so it's starting to get a little thinner in the center, so it's kind of like wanting to naturally fork. I don't know if you can tell now, I've combed it to be pretty even right now, but um, but it's been doing that. Uh, you know, uh, still getting still getting compliments on the beard. Um, not too many people uh, give throw insults anymore. Uh, you know, I think they think if you got one this long, you're serious about it, and they're they're no longer teasing you or anything. Um, plus, I probably look like I want to fight somebody, so uh, <laughs> so they don't they don't give me insults. But uh, you know, everybody I know uh, now is like, well, he's really sticking to it. Let's you know, nobody's bugging me about it anymore. So. So that's kind of interesting. That really happens like seems like right around nine months. Nobody, nobody, you know, makes funny anymore. Uh, another thing that's interesting since I've been riding my motorcycle uh, is that you know if, if you ride with a helmet, bike helmet, motorcycle helmet, uh, you know, there's a term called uh, helmet head or helmet hair, um, and uh, it's true with beards too. Uh, so every time I put this bad boy on. Uh, I get I get helmet beard. It's uh, kind of funny because of the the chin curtain there. It pushes in the bottom, and then I have this like weird shaped beard when I get to wherever I'm going. And then as I pull it off, the hair just kind of like goes up my face. So it's not as easy 
uh, you know, to wear a full face helmet when you have a beard like this. But uh, I am planning on trimming it up. Uh, I'm not planning on shaving this time. Uh, I want to get it all trimmed up <clears throat> so it's more, more uh, you know, middle mid length, like a five six month beard maybe. And uh, I think I liked that look the best. But uh, I don't know any barbers around that that do beards. I need like an old time barber who can really do beard well. And I and I still want to separate out the uh, the mustache a bit, but and then chop the bottom you know a couple inches off. So I'm just gonna still look. So anytime now, whenever I find the guy, I'm gonna gonna get that done. So it's been a long journey though. Uh, you know I, I that was one thing I wanted to do. I wanted to say I went 12 months without uh, cutting my beard so finally did it so thanks for watching everybody and happy bearding to you uh, stick with it it will get longer normally uh, you know even if it seems patchy at first stick with it and uh, avoid cutting in your lines right away because that can add to the fullness later you know once it's nice and full then then trim in your lines to see where you want it you know I wanted it as full as I could. I wanted it as high up on the cheek as I could, as full under the lip as I could. And uh, I did cut a neckline in a couple inches, just the scraggly, kind of wiry looking parts that are all by themselves there. So, anyway, sorry to ramble on. Thanks for watching. Happy bearding to everybody. And we'll see you guys next time.